Get so mad, there's no Hi. Sometimes you need to package an application that requires a separate config file adding after the installation. Today we're going to look at how to package that config file and get it to deploy into the application as part of an Intune package. The first things we need to do is to work out how to package the main application. In this case it's Cisco v AnyConnect VPN because that's one I know that can use a config or a preferences file. So our first thing to need to know is how do we, do we deploy the application silently. So we use an admin DOS prompt and we look for the config of the MSI file and this gives us all the information we need using the question mark switch. In this case we want to use a quiet install and we also want to set no restart. So I've already got that copied out. So it's MSI exec forward slash I for install, the name of the MSI file, quiet and no restart. That will go into our dot intune win file shortly. The next thing we need is to do the same thing or a very similar thing with our preferences file. In this case what we need to do is we need to copy the XML file into a certain folder within the install of AnyConnect and we do that using a CMD file and in this case I'm using xcopy the name of the file the path where it needs to go and a forward slash y which is an overwrite command in case a file of that name already exists because sometimes you may need to change the the contents of the file and redeploy it to the devices. So once we've got that CMD file that will then be imported into an Intune Win file shortly because for the VPN itself and we do that by running this application here. This is now asking for the source folder of where our software is stored which will be this path. then it wants the name of the setup file so I'll copy the full MSI out on this one paste that into there and then it will want to gain a source location where, where it is going to pack, put the packaged files once it's finished Do I want to create a catalog file? No. And it now created the file for us. So as you see we've got an Intune Win file extension in there and that one's now completed. So we need to go through the same process again. So we need to run the application again. And we need to do a preference file this time. So we'll copy the, the path where it's located in there. Our file this time is copy.cmd and again we want to put the same path in for there and we don't want to create a catalog file and as you see we've got an Intune Win file there. So now we can either test these on this device which I would recommend you do but because I know the commands work I'm going to skip that and import them straight into Intune. So let's create our VPN package in in the MEM center. So we go to apps and windows apps and we want to create a new app. That is going to be a Win32 app. We're going to select our package. This one names it for you because it's an MSI, it can actually extract all the or most of the info 
out of it itself. So there's very little we have to do here. It's automatically put some information in there for us. But I want to change that slightly because we know that that is not exactly correct for what we want. Because we looked at our install commands earlier and we worked out that it was quiet and no restart. So we want to change the queue to quiet and no restart on the install and the uninstall on that one. Then we can click next, select which is the architecture we want it to run on. I'm just going to click both for there. Select the minimum version of Windows you want it to work on. Again, there's a lot more you can actually add in there that I'm not going to at the moment. Our rules are going to be manually configured, and because it's an MSI, it will automatically connect um, import that code itself. We don't want to do any dependencies at this time. We don't want to do any subsidence and, and we're not going to assign it to anything either. So that's our Cisco package created. You can see there it's uploading and once that's uploaded I'll come back to this and carry on. So now that's unloaded, uploaded I'm going to add a an icon to that so just to make it look a little better when we deploy it to the users. And that's that one completed. And now we need to do one for the configuration file. So again it's Windows 32 app. Select the package. This time we do need to add things in. So Cisco and the connect preference file. We can change the description if we want. So we have to edit that one. Um, you want in there obviously an app version it's handy to add something just so you can check that if you actually update it it has updated at the at the device we don't need to add an image for this one install command on this one was in there even though it actually wouldn't uninstall it requirements again whichever architecture we need to use whichever version of windows detection rules this is going to be a manual detection rule but this time we're going to have to use a file and what we're going to use is the path that we worked out earlier yeah, that is for the install command of that one so if I open the text document that I had so we know that the file goes into that folder I know the file is called
what we will do now is create three groups for this application. So if we go to new group, we can use a security group and it's Go any connect required. Don't need to put a description in. I'll create a second one, which will be available, and I'll create a third one, which will be uninstalled. And that's the three collections groups rather for this application. So now we need to deploy our application. So what we're going to do in this case is go to our Cisco AnyConnect VPN. And we are going to assign that as an available one. So I can show you it installing. And you have to do that to users. You can't do an available to a device group. So I'm going to do that to a user group. I'll leave all the other settings as standard. And then I'm going to go to our preferences file. I'm going to change that slightly because I'm going to do a, de a dependencies rule. And I'm going to say that this is a dependency of the mobility client. But I'm going to select no to that. So basically this cannot go on until its dependency is on. The client being a dependency of this one. I'm not going to add it to automatically install. Because that's not what we want. And then I'm going to assign this one as a requirement. to the same user group. Pull one on the VM. After a short length of time we will start to see that in the company portal. So effectively the way this application works is the VPN is available so the user can install that whenever they want. The preferences file is required so that will automatically go on to any device in that group that has the VPN already installed. So the preferences will not go on until the VPN itself is installed. So we'll come back and check on this in a bit. Oh, we've already got it on so all we need now is to do is to check that this actually works. The detection method is not read straight away or is incorrect. So I'll leave this running for a while, as you can see it's download pending. I'll leave that on and play a bit of music while it's going while it's installing. And now we can see it's successfully installed on this device. We can check it actually is. And we can see the mobility client is in the start menu. And if we go into the C drive, we'll be able to see in program data, we have Cisco AnyConnect, a mobility client, and at present we don't have the, the XML file, but that will come down shortly once the device syncs back with Intune to get that setting. I'll just leave that for a while and come back to it. So what we need to do now is check our preferences file. And when we go into MEM, you'll see that it does indeed say it ran on the device and it installs is number one for, the, for that user. So when we go into the VPN, into the VM rather, if we go into the program data folder, Cisco, and you connect profile, you will see the file is actually there. And the difference that makes is it now pre-populates the VPN with the correct settings to just click connect. And that's the end of this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like if you did. And if you need any information, 
please look in the comments of the video. Thanks a lot. Bye.